Okay, moving on to section three. We're starting on the 11th fret of the G string and uh, dragging it to the 13th fret uh, with your second finger and then holding the 12th fret on the B in high E and then doing a whole step bend on the 15th fret of the B string. Then moving on to this bluesy lick. So what that is, is you're bending the 17th fret on the high E, releasing it slowly and then landing on the 15th fret of the high E. Then hitting the 17th again, and then with your second finger, playing the 17th fret of the B, then the, seven, then the 15th fret of the high E, then the 17th again of the high E, then a whole step bend, you're kind of choking that note. And then finishing up by doing a first finger whole step bend on the 15th fret of the high E and then playing the 17th fret of the B string twice. So slowly. Okay, moving on. Um, it's like a slide sound and then you're gonna be playing that note, so it's basically bending the 15th fret of the high E, but choking it again, so no sustain. And then playing uh, these, these notes, it's like, um, so you're starting on the 12th fret of the high E, then playing the, seven, the 15th fret of the B, then the 12th fret of the B, pulling off to that and then the 14th fret of the G string. Then you're playing the 15th fret, uh, pulling off to the 12th fret of the B. Then the 14th fret of the D and G strings, and then back to the 14th fret of the D. Then the 14th fret to the 12th on the D. And then you're dragging uh, the 14th fret to the 12th on the A string with your third finger. And finishing up on the 10th fret of the A string. So slowly. Uh, faster. Up to speed. Next section, so you're sliding down, playing an open E, and then doing a whole step bend with your first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. Moving on, uh, we're playing this leg. So what that is, is you're playing the fifth fret of the D string, and then the seventh fret, sliding to the ninth, Sliding back to the seventh, and then doing a first finger whole step bend again, releasing it up to the note again, and playing two hits on the E note, on the A string. So let's do that again. Last part. So what that is, is you're using um, the 10th to the 13th fret on the A string, same thing on the D string, then the 10th fret on the G, playing the 13th fret on the D, then doing a whole step bend on the 11th fret on the G. Then playing the 9th fret again on the G string. And then playing this lick, which is 9th to 10th on the D string. And then uh, landing on the 9th fret of the G string. 
Then playing something similar to what we just did. So all together slowly. That last part is you're bending again on the 11th fret. Then playing the 11th fret on the D string. So you can either do it separately like that or the way it's, as, it, as it's been in the theme for the solo, uh, barring across. And then uh, finishing the section off with this pedal tone lick, which is... So what that is, is you're picking the 12th fret on the B string once. Then doing a hammer on with your first finger on the 10th fret. Then a hammer on to the 12th fret with your third finger. And then pulling off. And that's the cycle, so you're repeating that. Keep in mind you have to uh, hammer, hammer on and pull off quite hard, otherwise you, you lose the effect. Yeah, that's it. That's section three. Thank you for watching.